let's speak to Molly Stevens, who's a reporter in Wrexham. She's at the racecourse ground this morning. And we can also hear from Ryan Ro- uh, Wass, who's the co-host of the podcast, Me, the Wife and Wrexham AFC. Morning to both of you. Um, Molly, what was the atmosphere like on Saturday? Indescribable, to be honest with you, Laura. Absolutely incredible. It was one of those scenes where I was actually pitch side for the match so I was between uh, both the Boreham Wood manager um, and the Wrexham manager Phil Parkinson uh, for the entire match so just seeing their raw emotion to the game as it went through through was just incredible and then afterwards when the final whistle blew the fans just hauled on to the pitch uh, with just scenes of jubilation and ecstasy to be honest with you the scenes of people crying and and smiling was just absolutely unforgettable for me personally and for everyone here in Wrexham. Ryan, have you recovered yet? Not really, to be honest. I, I watched the highlights back again this morning and it, it strangely, it, it still evokes the same sort of emotion as well. I, I think I had tears in my eyes this morning watching it. Uh, it was just, uh, it was one of them moments that you know you will look back at in years to come and go, I was there. I was there when we got promoted back to the Football League. Uh, right, there was a degree of cynicism around when these two Hollywood stars arrived initially. Um, they proved the doubters wrong haven't they absolutely and it's not just surrounding the football club either they've they've done it in the right way and they've drawn the community back in i mean i went to a game sort of 10 years ago and there was three and a half four thousand fans there we've sold the stadium out every game this season and there's been ten thousand people there and it's the important thing for them was getting the community on side and and because you're very right you know people are always skeptical of football owners you know especially overseas football owners and you're always wondering why they're coming into your club but they've they've been absolutely amazing and I, I you know I would say we've got the best owners in 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 football at the moment Molly what what are the new owners new owners have been there since 2020 but what are what are these Hollywood stars saying about the future though because this is where things presumably will start to get a bit more expensive if you move up Absolutely. Well, actually, I spoke to them after the game on Saturday and and they assured me, Laura, that this is just the beginning. Um, And you could hear how much they meant that. Uh, They are going to be in League Two next season. And as far as they're concerned, as far as the manager, Phil Parkinson, is concerned... They want to get promoted from League Two next season. That's the aim. It's not about just playing their way uh, through League Two and waiting a couple of years to go up. They've always said since the moment they came in here, Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney, if the Premier League can be achieved, then that's what they'll strive for. And what they're doing, you know, as Ryan said there, what they're doing for not just the football club, but for the community as a whole, is something that can't be overlooked. You know, this this is about changing a city, which was a town, now a city, um, and making sure people can believe again and know that people are coming here to the race course to witness extraordinary times, and that's certainly what happened on Saturday. Ryan, does it go that far? Do people actually feel like the entire city has changed? Yeah, definitely. There's a there's a, there's a, a, a certain change in mood and attitude, um, sort of a, a, a around the town that you can just you can it's palpable. You can you can actually feel it, and the excitement around the town, especially on Saturdays when there's a game, and the amount of young kids that you now may Maybe four or five years ago, you'd have seen kids wearing Liverpool shirts or Man United shirts. It's You don't really see that anymore. They're, all the kids are wearing Wrexham shirts, which is amazing. It's fabulous. Thank you so much, both of you, for joining us. Molly Stevens there, who's a reporter in the city, and Ryan Walsh there, the co-host of podcast Me, the Wife and Wrexham AFC. <laughs>